crawfish on our cuisine is used in many dishes from crawfish etouffee to crawfish monica, but for most people the best is just having a big old crawfish boil. It's a communal event. Gather your friends, family, anybody who's walking down the street, hang out in your backyard, throw it on the table and everybody gathers around and eats till there's no crawfish left. It's just a great way to hang out. A properly done crawfish boil primarily is the crawfish aren't overcooked or undercooked. They're a nice, perfect texture. And then there's that flavor aspect you want. Obviously, you want a little heat on there. You also don't want to make it go too far where you just can't taste anything except cayenne pepper. For some people who are new to eating crawfish, you eat the garlic, you eat the onions, the potatoes, the corn. That's how you really get your feet wet. Those are almost in everybody's boil. I like to add mushrooms as well, some sausage, Brussels sprouts. I've seen cauliflower in a boil. I've seen sweet potatoes. I use a lot of citrus, just a good balance of flavors. My friend likes to throw rabbits in his boil. It's crazy, but as long as it tastes good. <coughs> The Cajun tradition, you start harvesting those things January, February, when it starts warming up again. Then it really gets in full force after Lent and everybody goes crawfish crazy. If you're in New Orleans, throw a rock, you're gonna find a place that's boiling crawfish. It's always been a backyard tradition and it's become more and more, you see it in local bars and standalone restaurants. I love cooking them and I love throwing it on the table and having people just attack it and being part of that party. A crawfish boil is an essential New Orleans experience because it's something we all do a few times a season. Some people do it a few times a weekend. It depends on how much crawfish you can handle.